In today's tutorial, you're going to learn how to set up a Google business profile step by step, just like this one, so people searching for a business like yours can find you on Google Search and Google Maps in 2025. And here is the best part, it's also totally free. Yep, no cost, just pure value for your business. I'm going to cover everything you need to know from getting your profile up and running to the all important verification process and I'll even share my top tips to help you rank as high as possible on Google right off the bat. If you're ready, let's get started. No matter what kind of business you run, whether it's a brick and mortar shop like a dentist's office or a Chinese restaurant, a service area business like a plumber or electrician, or even a home-based business like a music teacher or therapist. You can claim a Google business profile if you meet a few basic requirements. You need to meet customers in person. You either meet customers at your location or you travel to them. You need a real address. It can be your home address, but virtual offices or PO boxes don't count. If you're working out of a co-working space, you'll need to have a sign with your business name out front and a phone number where someone actually answers during your business hours. You need a valid phone number. Make sure you have a working contact number for your business. If your business doesn't meet these basic requirements, creating a Google business profile won't work and will just be a waste of time. But if you check all the boxes, you're ready to move on to the next step. To claim a Google business profile, you'll need a Google account. If you already have a personal Gmail address, you might think about using that, but I highly recommend creating a separate Google account just for your business. This keeps your personal and business emails separate, making things way more organized. Here is how to set this up. Go to accounts.google.com and click on create an account. When you see the options, skip the for my work or business one, it has a cost attached. Instead, pick for my personal use, which is free and works perfectly well when setting up a Google business profile. Fill in your name and date of birth, then hit next. You'll get the choice to create a Gmail address or use an existing one. I always recommend creating a custom Gmail address based on your business name to make it easy to remember. For example, today, I'm setting up a profile for an imaginary pest control company in Boca Raton, Florida called All Star Pest Control Boca Raton. So I'll go with All Star Pest Control Boca Raton at gmail.com and click next. After that, set up a password and follow the remaining steps until you see the confirmation page that your Google account is ready. Once that's done, you're all set to jump into setting up your Google business profile. Now that you've got a Google account set up just for your business, it's time to claim your profile. First, go to google.com slash business and sign in using the Google account you've just created. This will take you to the page where you can start setting up your profile, starting with your business name. Type your business name into the box. Google may have already created a listing for your business using information it found online. If that's the case, your business will appear in the auto suggestions. If you see it, select your business from the list. You'll get a notification letting you know the listing already exists. If this happens, simply click manage now to claim it and continue with the setup process. If there's no existing profile, just pick the option that says create a business with this name. Before clicking on the continue button, here is a very important ranking tip. Your business name makes a big difference in how high your Google business profile ranks on Google. If your name includes keywords like the service you offer and your location, you'll have a much better chance of showing up when people search. For example, I chose Star Pest Control Boca Raton because it includes both the main service, Pest Control, and the location, Boca Raton. This combination will give my business a massive boost when people search for things like pest control in Boca Raton. That said, you can't just stick any keywords in your name to try and rank higher. Your name has to match how you present your business in real life. But if you haven't finalized your business name yet, 
this might be the perfect opportunity to tweak it for maximum impact. Once you're done with your business name, click on continue. Next, it's time to choose your business type. You've got three options and they can overlap. For example, your business might be a local store with a physical location like a beauty salon and also have an online shop. Or you might run a service-based business that visits customers at their homes, like a plumber. The choice is yours. Just keep in mind that the setup process will ask for different details depending on what you pick. In the next step, I'll guide you through the two most common types. Setting up a physical location where customers can visit or setting up a service business that goes to your customers. If your business has a physical location like a store or office where customers can visit, choose the local store option. This works great for businesses like hair salons, gyms, bars, vets, lawyers, and more. When you claim a Google business profile using this option, your business will show up on Google Maps with a pin like this one. Next, pick your business category by typing in what best matches the main service you provide. Before you do, here is another very important ranking tip. Your business category is a big deal when it comes to how well your profile ranks on Google. It might seem simple, but some businesses have a lot of options. For example, if you're a dentist, you could choose from categories like general dentist, cosmetic dentist, or orthodontist. Picking the wrong category can hurt your rankings. If you're not sure which one to pick, here is an easy hack you can use. Go to Google Maps and search for the main keywords you want your business to rank for or to be found for. Check out the top five listings and see what category they're using. That's probably the one you should choose as well. Once you've selected your category, enter your address, phone number and website if you have one, then click on next. On the next page, agree to Google's terms and conditions. If you want tips from Google on improving your profile, opt in at the bottom of the screen. After that, you'll move to the verification step. But before we dive into the verification process, let's talk about the other popular business model, service area businesses. If your business involves visiting customers at their homes like dog walkers, landscapers, locksmiths, plumbers, or similar services, you will be considered as a service area type of business. You'll want to choose the service business option. Instead of a pin on the map, Google will highlight the area you serve. Here is how to set this up. Select the service business option and choose your business category using the same approach as you would for physical locations. For my imaginary business, I'm going with pest control service. Next, it's time to set up your service area, the locations where you actually serve customers. You can add up to 20 places using city names or zip codes. Keep it straightforward and stick to the areas you actually serve. There's no need to go overboard. For example, since my business is based in Boca Raton, I'm adding Boca Raton as my primary location, along with nearby cities like Delray Beach and Pompano Beach. Only include areas within a two hour drive from your base. Google's guidelines don't allow anything further. When you're done adding your service areas, click next. Enter your contact phone number and website. If you have one, then click next again. Agree to Google's terms and conditions and you'll be ready for the verification step. Now that you've set up your business, it's time to verify your profile so your business can start appearing in Google search results and on Google Maps. This step is super important because it proves to Google that your business is legitimate, your location is accurate, and that only the right person, you, has control over the profile. Google offers a few methods you can use to verify your business. Phone verification. Google will call the phone number you added earlier with an automated message containing a code. Just pop that code into your profile and you're good to go. Postcard verification. Google will send a postcard to your business address with a five-digit code. When it shows up, log into your account and enter the code to verify your profile. Video verification. Over the past couple of years, video verification has become Google's go-to method for verifying new businesses. It might seem a bit daunting at first, but don't worry, 
I've got you covered. Google relies on this method to ensure your business is legitimate, matches the details on your profile, and to crack down on fake listings. Here is how you can nail this. Your video needs to be one continuous recording and cover three main aspects of your business. First, your location. If you have a physical store, film nearby street signs, neighboring businesses, or anything that proves where you're located. If you're a service business, show the area where your business operates, street signs, landmarks, or anything recognizable. Second, it should match your business category. For stores, show the inside of your shop, your product, or the equipment you use. For service businesses, show tools, branded vehicles, or even a business card that ties to the services you offer. Third, Prove you're the owner or manager. For stores, film yourself unlocking the door, showing payment tools, or an official document with your address. For service businesses, show yourself unlocking a branded vehicle, using business software, or providing a proof of address. You don't need to include everything, just make sure you have at least one good example for each point. For service businesses, try to include more evidence to be extra clear. Quick tips for video verification. Keep it short, one to two minutes is perfect. Plan what you'll film so you don't miss anything. And don't rush, it might take a few tries to get it right. Google will decide how you need to verify your profile. If video is the only option, don't stress. I've got an in-depth step-by-step video tutorial that walks you through the whole process and makes it super easy. Seriously, it covers everything you need to know to get it right the first time. You don't have to verify your profile just yet, so for now, let's hit verify later and keep moving forward. At this point, Google will ask you to add services to your business listing. Don't skip this, it's another important ranking tip to help boost your visibility. Based on the business category you chose, Google might have already added some default services or suggested a few others. Take a moment to go through the list and add or remove services so it matches what your business actually offers. Services play a big role in how your business shows up on Google Maps, so adding them can help you get found when people search for related keywords. If you offer something that's not listed, no problem, just click Add Custom Service and type it in. You can add as many as you need. Once you're done, click Next and you're good to go. Now it's time to set your business hours. This part is super easy, just pick the days you're open and add your opening and closing times. But before you do, here is yet another ranking tip. Your hours can actually affect your rankings. If someone searches for a service you offer while your business is closed, Google might rank competitors who are open at that time above you in the search results. If you're a plumber, vet, or electrician offering 24-7 emergency services, set your hours to open 24 hours so you show up whenever people need you. But if you don't work around the clock, don't fake it. Listing the wrong hours is against Google's rules and could get your profile suspended. Just make sure the hours you add match what's on your website, your store signs, and any other places your business is listed, like Yelp or Yellow Pages. Keeping it consistent will keep you out of trouble. Time to add a business description to your profile. Just write a quick summary of what you do, what makes you stand out, a bit of your story, and anything else potential customers might find helpful. Don't bother cramming in keywords hoping to rank higher, that's not how it works. The business description doesn't affect rankings. You've got 750 characters to work with, so make them count. If you're not sure where to start, you can save time by asking ChatGPT to whip up a description for you based on your business details. Easy, right? The last step is to spice up your Google business profile with some awesome photos. According to Google, profiles with photos get 42% more requests for directions and 35% more clicks to their website than those without. So yes, adding photo can make a big difference. Here is what to include. Pics of your products or services, happy customers, shots of the inside and outside of your store, your company vehicles or team doing their thing, 
The goal is to make your profile feel real and authentic, so skip the generic stock photos and use actual images of your business. And don't forget, adding photos isn't a one-time thing. Keep your profile fresh by regularly updating it with new pictures once your listing is live. When you're done, hit next. Google will offer you some free stuff like ad credits or a custom domain. You can skip all of that for now and keep going. You'll land on a final page that says your edits will be visible once your listing is verified. Just click continue to move on. This will take you back to the Google search page where you'll see your Google Business Profile Management dashboard. This is where you can update your profile, check your listing performance, add new photos, and much more. To access your profile anytime, just log into Google with the account you created for your business. Then type my business into the Google search bar and your dashboard will pop up. While waiting for Google to verify your listing, it's the perfect time to add more cool stuff to your profile. We've only covered the basics today, but there are so many other features you can use to make your profile stand out and attract more customers. I've got another video that dives into all of the extras you can add. It's full of tips to make your profile shine, so check that out next. And if you're having trouble with video verification, don't worry, I've got a separate tutorial to help you out. Go watch it.